Hello everyone. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm uh, very excited about uh, Gary Kasparov playing uh, the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz tournament in August. And so I thought it'd be nice to check out some of his previous games. Uh, for example, I chose this game. It was played in 1994 in the Intel Chess Express Challenge um, in Munich, Germany. Uh, Gary Kasparov is black and is playing white against uh, Vladimir Kramnik. And uh, I just wanted to say that uh, although Kasparov and, uh, Kasparov and Karpov were approximately of equal strength uh, during their championship matches, Kasparov was always a little better. Uh, but this game illustrates uh, nicely why Kasparov's games are much more enjoyable to watch, as he favors activity above all. Uh, so let's uh, look at the game. Uh, like I said, Kramnik is white and Kasparov is black. So we have d4, knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to c3, bishop to g7, e4, d6, knight to f3, Kasparov castles, bishop to e2, e5, d5, uh, Kasparov plays a5, bishop to g5, h6, bishop to h4, and so far this is all theory, uh, all the moves are by the book, so Kramnik goes, uh, Kasparov goes knight to a6, Kramnik castles, bishop to d7, uh, knight to d2, and Kasparov plays uh, knight to c5. And uh, with this move Kasparov prepares an idea, I'm sure that was uh, prepared uh, before the game. Uh, and Kramnik plays uh, b3, like nothing is, is happening. And this is the idea uh, of the position. Uh, you can see that this knight, after white played the b3, this knight is now undefended. And uh, this is uh, how Kasparov uses this idea. He plays knight captures on e4 and uh, allows white to capture his queen. So Kramnik captures the queen, bishop takes on d8, Kasparov captures on c3, attacking uh, white's queen, queen to e1, and uh, rook captures on d8, uh, picking up the bishop as well. And in this position, uh, well, although uh, black does have, have some activity, uh, white is actually better. And, uh, but Kramnik was uh, obviously very upset about this sacrifice and uh, he played uh, rook to c1. Uh, it's uh, very hard to understand why he would give up this a2 pawn, but uh, Gary grabbed it immediately. So knight captures on a2, he goes back to rook to a1, and now Gary plays uh, knight to b4. And uh, well, okay, this white rook now has a semi-opened line, but uh, is it really worth it? I don't know. Uh, so we have bishop to d1, protecting that bo uh, pawn on b3, and now e4, uh, opening up a discovered attack from the bishop to this rook on a1. Uh, Kramnik plays rook to b1, and Gary plays rook to e8, protecting this e4 pawn. So queen to e3, and now f5. And now if you look at this position, all, okay, uh, black lost the queen, but uh, who would you rather play here? Who would you prefer, black or white? Uh, so we have h4, rook to f8, uh, preparing to push f4, so Kramnik stops it, he plays g3, and now rook to d8, uh, rook to e8. And if you look at this position, uh, all of the black's pieces are placed very nicely. Uh, this light square bishop is still waiting for some activity, but uh, you'll see Gary will solve that as well. So king to g2, knight b uh, goes to d3, rook to g1, and now f4. And now look at this bishop slicing slicing this diagonal here and this dragon slicing all the way to here. So Kramnik captures, g captures on f4, rook captures on f4, and now h5. Uh, Gary closes it with g5, we have rook to f1, and now rook to h4, uh, trying to grab that h-pawn. Uh, so Kramnik plays rook to h1, Gary goes back, rook to f4, Kramnik goes back, rook to f1, and now Gary finds another idea, rook to f8. So we have f3, rook to h4, now this pawn isn't defended by the light squared bishop anymore. So Kramnik captures, f captures on e4, uh, knight to f4 check, king to g1, uh, knight to d3, e5, knight captures on e5, rook to c1, and now Kasparov attacks the queen, rook to h3. And we have knight to f3, we have g4, pinning the knight, uh, so 
uh, Kramnik decided to capture on e5 uh, and to give up his queen as well. But uh, you'll see after rook captures on e3, knight captures on d7, and knight to h3 check. Although the position, uh, well, both players have uh, the same amount of pieces, but, uh, well, Gary has the initiative. So we have king to g1. Uh, the king has to go to g1. If he goes to h1, it will be over quickly. Uh, we have rook captures on f1, king captures on f1, and now g3. And, uh, well, black is a lot better in this position, but uh, Kramnik plays king to g2, and uh, it's uh, over immediately after knight to f4. Uh, we have king to f1, although in this position Kramnik resigned, but after king to f1, uh, well, you would get... Uh, this g2 check move and after king to f2 you would get rook to h3 and this is unstoppable because bishop to d4 check is coming so yeah a very nice game by Kasparov and uh, I really enjoyed how he sacrificed the queen on move 12 uh, to get this extreme activity although uh, Kramnik could have played better and not give up his a2 pawn but it's uh, very hard, you know, you're playing against Kasparov, he just sacrificed the queen and, uh, well, it's not that easy to keep calm at a moment like that. So I hope you enjoyed this game and as usual you can check two of my previous videos here. And uh, if any of you are Game of Thrones fans, uh, I'm uh, interested to know what you thought of the first episode. I still haven't watched it uh, because uh, I'm waiting for my girlfriend to come home from work uh, so we can watch it together. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, see you soon.